Hello and welcome to my channel. Please like, share, and subscribe if you like this video. And thank you all so much for watching. Thank you, thank you, thank you to my day ones, twos, and threes. Thank you to all my new subscribers that's coming in. That means well. Thank you so very much. I appreciate you all and welcome, welcome, welcome. This video is for entertainment and educational purposes only. So everything is alleged, some is not. And the fair act use is in my description box, y'all. So let's get to it. Let's get to it. First, I want to say happy Wednesday. I hope everybody is having a wonderful day. Please stay safe and all that good stuff. Please stay aware of your surroundings. And please, y'all, watch the company that you keep because it just may save your life or keep you out of trouble. Okay, y'all? So it is time. It is time. It is time, y'all. To talk about this this is very very serious y'all super duper serious um i knew this was going to happen sooner or later especially with all of the people coming in the country i knew that this was going to take place and i went uh, uh, it is what it is y'all when I when I blame somebody for it, people be start tripping. So I ain't gonna I ain't gonna put no blame on nobody. But look at all the people that's coming over here. And remember, I just said this not too long ago. My day ones, twos, and threes. I said this not too long ago. I said you got to be careful when people are coming into the country, putting them in positions, putting them in jobs where you are around people's information and this and that and that and this. Well, look a here, look a here, look a here, y'all. America, they're saying that every American social security number address may have been stolen in a hack. This is what they're saying, y'all. The, it they're putting this everywhere. It's on the news, social media, all over the place, okay? They said after a group of hackers claim to have stolen personal information, Several months ago from a data broker, a member of the group reportedly shared most of the sensitive data on an online forum for stolen data. The data includes 2.7 billion records of personal information from Americans, including their social security numbers and physical addresses. Y'all, this don't make no sense. This don't make any sense. Their phone numbers, all kind of stuff, okay, was hacked. And they're saying every America, every American right now. They're saying that this group, a hacking group called USDOD, claimed in April to have stolen personal records from national public data in a massive data breach. The NPD is a platform that offers personal information to employers, private investigators, staffing agencies, and others doing background checks. The Los Angeles Times reported, this is what they're saying, citing a class action lawsuit filed in a Fort Lauderdale, Florida. Okay, y'all? This don't make no sense. They're also talking about AT&T. They were hacked too. Nearly all customers call text messages a whole bunch of data has been exposed now i want to get to some other stuff too but i'm i'm i want to you know continue to go on this a little bit usdod offered to sell the stolen records which included personal data from everyone in the us the uk and canada to a forum of hackers usdod was seeking 3.5 million dollars for the entire database but pals of the data have been leaked by various entities. According to, you know, <laughs> outlets, previous leaks of data included phone numbers, email address, but that information reportedly was not part of the, the database. So they are saying that some of the phone numbers wasn't uh, leaked in some of the email addresses. But the most important thing that was leaked was your personal address, your phone, I mean, your, yeah, your personal address, your name, and your social security numbers. They know for sure that those were leaked. Okay, y'all? They saying that there are steps that you can take to safeguard your personal information amid the reported data breach. P 
people should monitor their credit reports and they're saying that you have to um you know do all three credit bureaus okay for possible fraudulent activity on their accounts and notify credit bureaus um experion transunion um aquifex all of this if something looks suspicious or somebody you you know somebody because they can open up you know credit cards all kind of stuff in your name that's still in this information remember what i was telling you all about the the um mail jobs that the mailman and stuff now they're going after the the mail people and stuff is are under attack right now and i do believe that they are doing this so that they can get those jobs and have access to everybody's information when you're delivering mail you got access to everybody's inf personal information. Y'all, this is ridiculous. You can't put your stuff online because a lot of stuff is getting hacked online. And then when you got mail coming to your house, now, y'all, I'm telling y'all, it is going in down, okay? They are telling consumers they can't ask the credit bureaus, the three credit bureaus, to place a freeze on their credit accounts by phone or email to prevent anyone from opening a bank account and take it out a loan or obtaining credit cards under their name. There's also services that monitors your accounts and the dark, <sighs> y'all, boy, 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 uh, the web to protect you from identity theft. Um, this is what they're saying. They're saying it is also good to manage your passwords and to use two-factor authentications um, for the passwords. You should avoid using the same login information for um, different services and make sure to routinely change your passwords on your account. So by doing this, they're saying that this will protect you, okay? Now, I'm going to say this too as a warning to you all, okay? Because I know this for a fact, and I forgot the name of the company, but it's a company that says that they will monitor your credit and keep up with your stuff and you got to pay them monthly fee for to do this and that and that and this. I have known people that have done that. And then when they stopped and they decided to not pay this company anymore, that's when all H to the ELL went, broke loose, okay? So I'm going to suggest that you monitor your own stuff, okay, y'all? You monitor your own stuff. That's my personal opinion. Because some of these people that call themselves monitoring your stuff are frauds too. When you decide that you don't no longer need their services or you can't afford them or whatever, 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 they will give your information out to people. So be careful with that as well. Okay, y'all? Now, I want to get to another report that is um, coming out because with all of these people information being thrown into, you know, um, unwanted hands right now and so many people at one time, um, there are also reports coming in that different companies are also doing this. Um, a news report came out that GM, okay, y'all, you can't make this stuff up. Texas Attorney General um, Ken Paxton sued General Motors Tuesday, alleging that the, you know, they illegally collected and sold driver's data to insurance companies without their consent or knowledge, according to a release from the AG's office. General Motors is the first car manufacturer to be hit with a lawsuit after the Attorney General's office opened an investigation into several manufacturers in June for allegedly collecting mass amounts of data and then illegally selling it, y'all. Okay? So if you're dealing with General Motors, whatever way you're dealing with them, as far as buying cars, whatever, 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 be careful with this too because they are also selling people's information without their consent so if you start getting phone numbers that you don't know calling you saying do you want to um you know buy this insurance do you want to you know lower your 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 um lower your your payments if you got a car note or whatever 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 then they didn't sell your information to and people are suing them so if you have went through any of this mess right here then you got a lawsuit too so it ain't just the hackers, it's people that you're dealing with. And I guess the people that you're dealing with is saying that people are already hacking the information, sending it out. I might as well sell it myself. Allegedly, this is what it seems like is going on. So y'all, please be careful. Please be careful. 
keep up with your own stuff check your bank accounts from time to time um call your you your bank is very important to have a relationship with your bank communication with your bank and let them know that you know put put a password on something if you feel that somebody might call and pretend to be you with your social security number, this and that and that and this, put a password that, you know, they have, you can do this. You can, any companies that you're dealing with, you can call them, say, um, I want to put a password, blah, 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 blah. And, you know, <laughs> go from there. You can do that as well. And, uh, you know, make sure that they have to show some type of picture ID or if anybody want to do any kind of dealings as far as in your name. With different companies and you can put that up there so that you know what i'm saying y'all to put extra precautions on anybody you know pretending to be you y'all and you can't trust nobody right now because everywhere you are going you almost have to ask everybody when you're doing a credit report whatever it is you almost have to ask them are you going to be trying to sell my information afterwards you know what i'm saying y'all just because of the fact that this is what they're doing but anyway if you have dealt with a particular company um, you got a lawsuit. People are putting in lawsuits on them for selling in their information. It's sad on so many levels that you will go to a company and deal with them and put your trust in them that you and even just support their business by buying a car or whatever, whatever, whatever. And then you turn around and they sell your information. It's like that you can't win for losing right now. But y'all, please be safe. I have to jump on here and let y'all know that, yes, this is going around Everybody is talking about it, that everybody's social security numbers and all that stuff. They, they're saying that they, they can even try to take like your income tax checks and all kind of stuff. So they always got their foot on our neck in the first place. This is another excuse to be like, oh, you know what I'm saying, y'all? So it's some more foots on your neck. So just be careful, y'all. Um, keep up with y'all information. Um, do like they said, change your passwords and stuff like that. Um like I said, keep up with the credit bureaus and, you know, you know, talk with them and see what it is that you can do. Now, first off, they said that you can put a freeze on, you know, the credit bureaus, Aquifax, Experian, TransUnion. But if you want to go open up a credit card or this and that and, that and this account anywhere and this and that and, that and this, then you have to totally contact these people again and tell them to take the freeze off. And then once you open up that line of credit or whatever you want to do, then you have to turn around and tell them to put it back on. It's a headache. It doesn't make sense. But this is what we got to deal with now. We got so much going on in our country right now that makes no sense. We have enemies. I've been saying this for the longest. We got enemies over here. And when you put them in positions, in different jobs, and this and that and that and this, this is what you get. But anyway, y'all be safe. Be safe. Be safe. Um, a lot of people are starting to report that um, they're getting letters and stuff like that i received a letter too be completely honest with y'all i received a letter too that my information was hacked okay y'all so i know this personally and i received my letter i think about a week and a half ago or maybe a week ago but i didn't know it was to this extreme i didn't know i would have mentioned it to you all um back then when i received my letter but um i didn't know that it was to this extreme that they're saying that every American. Okay. I didn't know that, but now that I'm hearing about it, I'm okay. Oh, now this is why I received that letter. That it's a possibility that somebody, you know, have my information. So yeah, y'all be careful, be careful, be careful. People are reporting that their kids information has been leaked to their social security numbers and stuff like that. So don't be surprised if somebody go and put a bill in your kid's name and this and that and this. If you get anything, any mail, any weird phone calls that you don't know, um, I don't answer calls that I don't know. I, that's something I, I just don't do. I never answer the phone. If I don't know, um, uh, you know, the number, I don't answer the phone. That's just me. I, I never do that. Um, I even check the number after my phone rings. I'll go and check the number to see who it is that's calling me. I'll go check it in, check it out. There's places you can, you know, put the number in and find out who is calling you. So, yeah, you can do that as well. And if it's any kind of, you know, um, telemarketing and stuff like that, and, you know, that lines up with insurance companies and stuff like that, yeah, the, you might want to check out anybody that um, you recently went to 
and dealing with that have possibly sold your information because it could be any one of them. If you get, they're saying hackers is doing it, but also we got people that's from the, you know, the United States that you're doing business with is doing it as well. So I'm just telling y'all, be careful, be careful, be careful. There's a lot going on and this don't make no sense. They've been talking about this and talking about it till they blew in the face, talking about that it's going to be a crash and then people is going to be, you know, not able to get their money out the bank and this and that and that and this. Is this the start of that? This is what it's starting to look like. So y'all just be safe, be safe, be safe. Keep an eye out on, you know, anything if you get, because sometimes you get mail and you be like, and you just throw it away. Check it out and see what it is because it might be somebody trying to open up some accounts in your name and stuff like that. So please be cautious, y'all. Please, please, please. Okay. Anyway, y'all, please like, share, and subscribe if you like this video. And thanks for watching, y'all. Peace.